Hey guys, I got a neat little project this morning. I'm gonna be uh, putting a spoiler on this 2019 Nissan 300Z. I'll try and do it step by step so you can see what it takes to put one on this car. And it's basically the same procedure on most cars. The customer purchased the spoiler already painted so we didn't have to paint it uh, if you look at the back there's two-sided tape all the way around and basically only two mounting holes that we're gonna have to mark so we get it positioned right like I said this is the same procedure for almost all spoilers some of you were with me when we put the spoiler on this car all right this is this spoiler was manufactured by a, a good company they're not always this nice it came with very detailed instructions um i'm, I'm following them right to the t as far as measurements go but i'm doing a slightly different set just because i don't have a, a grease pencil but it's telling me to measure eight and a half inches from the tip of the tail light up now instead of using a grease pencil and writing on the car i put a piece of inch and a half tape there i did the same thing on both sides and i i guesstimated about where it was going to meet in the middle and then I, i'll sh then i'm going to set the spoiler up there and i'll show you how i made those marks now what i've done is i set the spoiler up there and i made sure that is that it is flush with the deck lid. I don't know if you can tell that or not. And then you can, you got a good way to center it by looking at the gap on this third brake light. Not all cars are set up like this, but as you can see, it's fitting tight in all those areas. So I took my Sharpie marker and I marked where, where it sits. I'll explain that to you later. Now, the instructions call for you to take a grease pencil and mark all the way around the uh, deck lid, which is totally great. I don't have a grease pencil and I don't feel like having to clean it up and I've put enough spoilers on. There's a few shortcuts that I'm taking, but by all means, if you did it by the book, you can run a grease pencil around there. Basically, the point we're doing this for is to make sure we got this thing centered for when we drill our holes. Okay. We're gonna have to remove this piece of trim panel on this deck lid because the, hole, the holes are gonna to come through somewhere in this area, which is underneath of this panel. I'm gonna go over a few tools with you guys. For one, if you remember from the tool video, this is one of my favorite tools, the red handle clip tool. I use it for everything. And like, I know there's a bolt under here. I've already popped this one loose and there is a 10 millimeter underneath of there now this isn't an advertising obviously i ain't sponsored by anybody this is an sk quarter inch drive socket set i have several of them i have a brand new one that's never been touched when they were on sale i bought an extra one this in this man's opinion is the best quarter inch socket set you can have and this is the best quarter inch ratchet what makes it so good is it's really fine. Like hear that, hear how it just, it hardly takes anything to make that click. It fits in my hand perfectly. This kit right here has metric deep and shallow and standard deep and shallow, my extensions. And in this little box, which I put together, I got a little universal swivel joint um, and a few other 30 Torx and 20 Torx bits in there. I can do 90% of all my sheet metal type work on cars. I always keep this, this toolbox with me. But if you guys ever wanted to buy a great quarter inch socket set, obviously it's more than Sears, but a quarter of the car. All right, I've got the nut and bolt out of there. Now we're going to pop this trim panel off. Again, using the red handle clip tool, I got it started. And there is little push clips in there. We're gonna pop this. Now I'm not snatching on this. I'm going 
slow. This is an Asian car and uh, they use a slightly different type of uh, push clip. You can see it right there. I'm gonna set this camera down for a minute because I, I gotta pop some that are that are up here farther. I didn't do anything trick there. I just took two hands to pop this off. As you can see, I got it all popped off. That's just a different style of push clip, but it just goes in there, snaps in to those holes there. Okay, this is the underside of the spoiler. That's where the bolt's gonna go in. It's just, just on either side of that third brake light. And luckily, like I said, this is a good quality spoiler. It fits in the factory locations they give me this access hole. Now, what I have to do is determine where, exactly where to drill my holes up here. Okay, <clears throat> here's how we're gonna locate exactly where those holes go. With the kit came these little strips. Now, they got different styles sometimes. Sometimes they're a hard plastic that has like a, a nipple on it that will go down in the hole. In this case, it gives you, this is basically a sticker. I'm gonna show you, I've already, I've already put that one on. All you're gonna do is, the whole thing is a sticker, but I'm only gonna peel off, kinda of hard to do this with one hand. I'm only gonna pull off, <laughs> let me set this phone down. Yeah, that little center section off. All, all of this is a sticker, but I don't want it sticky and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm gonna come over to this hole and I'm going to position. position it perfectly over the hole and push that down good I only want it I want it stuck good I don't want it to move but you're gonna see why I don't want it to stay permanent in a minute now I'm gonna shut the deck lid and set this on now I've got this spoilers just sitting on there right now and there's the there's those indicator strips see how they are now I've made sure double checked that this thing is centered up. It's in the right spot. It's in the exact right spot. I know however I hold this camera, it makes it look like that's not right, but they're right. Now, these pieces of tape right here, what they're gonna do is, I'm gonna put them over that. As close to the spoiler as I can get. What this is gonna allow, if everything goes right, whoops, if everything goes right, what should happen is I should be able to pull this off. And remember where that, just that little bit of a uh, sticky was on there? Yes. Oops. We're good. I'll show you what we're gonna do here. Okay. This one stayed put. This one kind of pulled up a little bit, but as long as I put it back down there flush, we should be good. Same thing on this side. That little piece of sticky stuck a little better than I wanted it to, but. Now, what I've got to do is I got to drill an eighth inch pilot hole. Pilot hole just means a, a starter hole. Um, I'm going to do an eighth inch hole and then we're gonna go up and the final hole is supposed to be 7 16 That's an eighth inch drill bit. Now, <laughs> this is the point of no return and this is where you better know what you're doing because uh, I'm not sure how much this car costs, but I'm pretty sure I don't wanna have to pay for it or I don't wanna have to fix anything and not get paid for it. I'm getting paid to put a spoiler on, not fix holes that I put in the wrong spot. So. Measure twice, cut once, and this is measured two or three times and drill once. So, I should put a, I would normally put a center punch in there and put a, a little line up hole, but it may cause too much of a dent. So, let's hope I don't screw this up while you're watching me here. There's one. <laughs> is when you say a little prayer. Okay, now, it's important here 
when you drill see those metal shavings i'm gonna get that tape off of there right now don't wipe them off we're gonna blow them off if i wipe them off it will scratch the car you some of you are going yeah i knew that uh trust me some of you don't know that and you'll you'll scratch the heck out of the car so i'm gonna get the blower and blow that off tool show here this is my favorite blower i've got a couple of them um this isn't no harbor freight i'm not knocking harbor freight or not knocking harbor freight but this there's a few professional tools that uh I insist on this is one of them. Okay, now I'm switching to a Unibit. Now, Unibit is a name brand. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it says Unibit. Again, <laughs> um, this is where you want to use good stuff. What this allows me to do is take the eighth inch hole. I don't know if you can read those numbers on there, but it starts out at an eighth inch and goes all the way up to a half inch. And I'm going to go to seven sixteenths, which is one from the end. Um, I'll try and film me drilling it. But this makes a perfectly round hole. You say, well, duh, don't all drill bits? No. And this one makes it nice and true and smooth. You'll see the finished result. Okay, here we go. Hole. The reason I had a rocket back and forth there a couple steps in is because this bit is getting a little bit uh a little bit worn in that area, but I'm not gonna replace it yet. Now I'm gonna go back and blow all those metal shavings. Look how big those are. Got to make sure I blow them off. Not, not only will they scratch the car, but if you don't get them off and it's like super humid today, they will actually rust and leave stain marks and eat right into the paint. Okay, to do a professional job on this thing, see how that's shiny? Because that's bare steel there. And it doesn't matter if this is made out of aluminum. You can't leave it like that because it will rust and that will start eventually peeling that paint up, bubbling that paint up, and eventually eat all the way down there it may take 20 years to do it and it may never do it all the way but we're here to do things right so what we have to do is seal that up with something now some people are going to take a can of spray paint which that doesn't have a hardener i guess in a pinch you could use it and some people will use primer but primer is porous unless it's epoxy i have mixed up here now it's black because it doesn't matter you're not going to see it I have some single stage black just because I had single stage black. If I had white or pink, it doesn't matter. But it's actually activated with the hardener in it. Now, this is a trade secret. I've used it for years. I didn't invent it. It was taught to me by an old timer, and it works great. One of the best touch up brushes you can use for stuff like this is a match, a paper match. You pull it right out of the pack. And uh, if you need it even smaller, one, you can take a razor blade and shape that. But that has just enough get focused enough fuzz on the end of it it makes a great great touch-up brush now I'm not actually touching up a chip but that that's what we normally use it for I'm touching up uh, that hole but I'm gonna use this as a brush now I put a piece of paint masking paper down here to protect in case I happen to drip it doesn't drip on this the rest of the car you don't have to do that but I have the paper you could use a piece of newspaper if you had it I put a little piece of, a couple pieces of tape up here just so I don't actually drip some there. Granted, this is all covered up up here, but I still don't want to make a mess. So I got some on my makeshift brush, and I'm just going to touch, and you will see that it kind of like sucks its way right, right into there. Pretty neat, huh? It kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a plumber solder a pipe, heat it up, and it, and it sucks it right into the joint, or you guys have soldered wires. When you get it right, it, it sucks it right into the wire. Well, <laughs> that's kind of how this works. And that takes care of that problem. I'm not going to film me doing the other one. Okay. Although it's not mentioned in the instructions, another thing you got to remember is now we got a hole there. 
there's a possibility of a leak. So I always take, this is called butyl tape. Uh, it, what, it's what used to hold windshields in older cars, and it's still used in some bolt-in window applications. You say, what's a bolt-in window application? Uh, this car is not that way, but a lot of your quarter glasses are, are actually bolted in, and they use this, it's a uh, sticky, uh, it's like caulk, but it's, um, but it, it, uh, it, you can mold it. And what I'm going to do is, like when you're playing with dough, I'm going to string this out into a long snake, and I'll show you, I'm going to put it around this hole. That's going to seal it up when I tighten the bolt against it, and that way, that ensure that won't leak. Now, when I put that spoiler on there and tighten the bolt up, that'll mash flat. And, and it, you, if you take the spoiler off, well, there'd be a hole there, but you'd be able to peel that off. Uh, both of those okay now this is the part that if you had two people uh, it would be helpful but I don't but I'm used to working by myself anyway all right those holes that we drilled in the deck lid that is where the bolts gonna go through the deck lid and bolt into there there's one there and one there now this two-sided tape is no joke matter of fact you could get away with putting a spoiler on there without those bolts um, uh, we're not going to do that but you probably could get away with it matter of fact some of the factory spoilers that's the only thing holding them on um if you notice i have peeled the backing off of this and folded a crease in it so that it sticks out past the edge i've done that on every piece now these little short pieces i um i went ahead and exposed it all because i think it's gonna be all right there's little short ones but the rest of them i folded i folded it back and put a crease in it the reason why that is is so I can set this on the car, get these bolts started, leave everything loose. I'm just barely gonna set this there and then see how this is sticking out past the edge. I'll show you when I get it on there. I will be able to pull this out because if I stick this on there and it's not in the right spot, I won't be able to line these holes up. Does that make sense? This, this is where it can get tricky. So that's why I've got both ends of all these pieces folded so they stick out. I'm gonna set it on the car and I'll turn the camera back on and show you. I've got the bolts in it, so they're started. Now I'm gonna shine this light up in there. Um, that is the best way to tell on this one, I got that third brake light. This thing is perfectly centered because I've got that pocket for that third brake light. Now, you see I went around and I taped all those little tabs with a piece of tape. That was so I could get a hold of them. Now, I have it tightened up I have it tightened up, the bolts, and I'm not going to until I pull all of this two-sided tape off. Now, I told you I was going to show you how to do it. And this, guys, those of you with the Chevrolet four-wheel drives with the factory flares, this is how you put them on, too. Now, see what this allows me to do? It allows me to pull this backing off, and that's why I take both ends, because it kind of got stuck there in the middle. And I may have to pry up on this a little bit to get that there we go now again i'm not one because once i touch this thing at all that two side tape is going to be stuck forever i don't know how much of this is showing up or how tough what well, you can tell but it's working pretty good i guess you can see that see now let's see if i can get this one out of there There we go. I'm gonna finish taking this off and I'll turn the camera back on before I, before I push it down. Okay, all the two-sided tape is out. Now if you can, let me see if I can come around here and show you. That gap under there now, I'm gonna push it down there it is. I'm, now I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go around and, and seat all this glue. And then I'm going to tighten the screws up. Now, I don't know if I can get up in there to show you the screw. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Now I'm going to go up in there and tighten that screw down, one on each side. Okay, now all we got to do is reattach this trim panel. I'm gonna have to put the phone down to do this. I had to get it started, that's why I put the, the phone down. 
and you pretty much it's all lined up now just got to put the two 10 millimeter bolts back in there we'll wrap this thing up well, got that bolt in snap that cover back in place there we go clean my tools up I will tell you this that same spoiler from the Nissan was I believe the customer said over $500 something like that and not to mention how much money it would have cost to get it installed this one was a couple hundred dollars and then I installed it of course um, and this is the kind of stuff we do in body shops all the time of course I did this in my backyard um, and you can do this in your backyard and you also see the uh, advantage of buying a good quality one if you guys go on eBay you guys got your Honda or your whatever it is you guys are working on your little tuner car and you you go on eBay or Amazon you find a spoiler for $99.95 um, don't expect it to fit like this one well guys I hope you enjoyed this little short video at least I hope it ends up short I haven't edited it yet I can't wait to see you guys in the fall